Here we are with Case M of 2019 singles. Back at it again with yet another new case to unbox. And I'm super excited about this one in particular because it contains a car that I never fathomed would get released, but I always wanted it. And finally, it's literally right inside this box. So I can't wait to bust it open. But in the meantime, you guys can ponder what that car may be. For me, it's a big deal. For you, you may not really care. You may have another car in mind. But anyways, to give some background on this case, I got it from my usual supplier, Get Me Collectibles. I definitely recommend him. And so I put all of his contact info in the description below. Email him if you want to buy a case because he doesn't have those on his eBay store. But if you just want to buy the cars individually, that's what the eBay store is for. But do keep in mind that his stock fluctuates. It could go out of stock, but then again, it could come back in if he gets a new shipment. All right. So I think that's all I got to say. And let's dive right into this awesome case. So as always, you can identify the contents of the case by this code right here, especially this last letter, which of course is M. We've been moving right along through the alphabet, even though Mattel has skipped a few letters like K and L and also B and C and a lot of other cases. They always skip I because it looks like a one and O because it looks like a zero, but usually they do everything else. So that's a little strange. There are 24 cars in here and that is pretty much all. I've never seen this logo before, that little stamp that's accepted. So that's kind of cool. I got the trusty house key right here. Now, this case may not contain as many new cars as some of the other ones we've unboxed, like case J and E, but it still has a great selection of classic cars, like you can see on the right side there, and some newbies as well. And I think that is really what makes a great case, the perfect mixture of new and old, some re-releases that collectors have been looking for for a long time, and some new cars that will also inspire a lot of excitement. So if we could get this open here, may have to use something a little more hefty than a house key. I mean, this is some crazy tape. Whoa, let's not bang our cars over there, please. I am very particular about that stuff. All right, looking good. All right, we're gonna stop it or start in the top right hand corner here as we always do. All right, we got Michael Roeder and Nick Pittire. So as I usually do, I never look at the contents before. I just know of the new cars. So I honestly had no idea that Michael Roeder made a reappearance in this case. So if you missed them in case H and Nick Pittire, same thing, you guys have a shot at them again. So that's awesome. I needed them both in the package, so that worked out well. Tumbleweed McQueen is back. He was only previously released in case A of this year. So again, a second chance if you missed him. And if you missed him 10 years ago too. Lightning McQueen with racing wheels, kind of boring, but you know, they always have to throw that McQueen in there. All right, let's move right along to the top left. We got Mather. Yep, so always a Mather. Definitely probably the biggest peg warmer at the moment along with Jackson Storm. But it's all right, Mather's bearable. I like this one though, Cruz Basoro. So this one was released only in Europe last year. And then in case J, which was the last case, he got a re-release from Thailand. And so now you get another re-release from Thailand in this case. So if you are still looking for Cruz, you get another shot. What is that? Ugh. All right, let's move down to the top, middle, left, whatever you want to call it. All right, awesome. We got Jackson Storm right here and Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, which looks way shinier than usual. I think this is a variant. I may have to look at this later, but this looks different for some reason. Maybe I'm just tweaking right now, but it looks different. It looks shinier. It feels heavier, but Jackson Storm is certainly the same as we have known. I'm going to put this guy to the side. I don't know. Something about him just looks a little different, but yeah. Don't need any more Jackson Storms, that's for sure. All right, here we go. We have Cam Spinner. Nice to see him back. So he was in case D. I think it was also in case F. 
and maybe another one, but it's nice to see him back because they fly off the shelves. Let's be honest, Cam Spinner is one of the most popular next gens. Shoot to the Roki, nice. Always good to see some World Grand Prix racers in there. Although they do kind of peg warm a little bit. Especially these two, speaking of peg warmers, another Jackson Storm. We have Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, which is all right. I can bear one Cruz Ramirez per case. If there's another one, I might get a little bit upset. All right, I see, oh, I'm getting a little upset. Come on, Mattel, we don't need two. We don't need two Jackson Storms and two Cruz Ramirez's. But here we go, here's our first new issue, the new release of this case, even though he is an old character, Antonio Velose Excelente, one of the Maseratis from the end of Cars 1. He's never been released from Thailand before. So this is a brand new release, brand new to 2018-2019 styled packaging as well in the Radiator Spring series. So he looks absolutely amazing. I love that card art and man, just love that white. It's so pure. But yeah, to compare him to his original release, I might do a separate video on some of these variants, but for the time being, I'll just show you up close. Looks like the eyes look a little weird. He looks more of a robot. Yeah, that totally made sense. I was going to say robot, but then I was like robotic, and then I just kind of said robot or robot. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Anyway... Let's move right along to these two. All right, so here's our first official new release, and he definitely has got some wiggle room in there. I'm not a big fan of that because he could get chipped. But anyway, it's Metallic Rex Reveler. So in our last case, we got the regular version of Rex Reveler, and now we have the Metallic one. This is actually the first Metallic car that we've gotten from Thailand, so when I review him, It'll be interesting to look at the differences. So now all we need is Metallic Sally, which will probably be in the next case because they released these pretty much consecutively. It was Florida Ramon, then Nick Stickers, then they took a break, then Shannon, and then this guy, and then probably Sally next. Yeah, he looks actually pretty cool. Can't wait to review him. Here's another classic, a brand new release from Thailand. This is Greta. Although she really doesn't look that different between the Thailand and Chinese versions here. Yeah, she looks very similar. But it's definitely nice to get another classic car, you know, from Radiator Springs. You can see some other cars there on the back. And I do love her art. Brings me back to the old days, the 2009 days. Can't believe that was 10 years ago. That really just doesn't feel real to me. I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Bryn Imager, Imager. I don't know how to pronounce it. All I know is that this is a Taco Mint Pity. So Taco Mint, let me say, is my favorite Piston Cup team just because of how just iconic it is. I mean, it's like gingerbread. It's like a candy and the design on Taco Mint is gorgeous. I want to eat it. It just looks like a gingerbread cookie to me. And now that we're actually getting team members from Taco Mint is next level. Like it's something that I never thought would ever happen, but here it is. I can't believe it. This guy was really a surprise to me. I love the art. I love the name, even though it's a little weird and the car itself looks great. And I will be reviewing it first. So this will be the first review you see from Case M on my channel. So definitely look forward to that. And you can actually see the Taco Mint Racer right there to the right of my thumb. So that's awesome. Really awesome indeed. Here we have Barry DePetal. So this guy also is a new release from Thailand. He was only previously released from China in the Next Gen Racers 4-pack. So definitely a significant release here. And he looks very different from the Chinese version. I'll probably show an up close pick of them later on or do a little review or something like that. But yeah, this guy is pretty major. It's our like first next gen that has been reissued as a single from that four pack. The first look has worn off essentially. Here we got two other new releases, not new 
forever, but just like new for the year and from Thailand. So they actually call this guy Doug Throttleman, even though it's actually Chuck Armstrong. They've kind of made this mistake before with TG Castlenut. They called this guy TG Castlenut when it's actually Davey Apex. So same type of deal here. This is the Cars 1 Mood Springs racer, but they call it the Cars 3 Doug Throttleman. So unfortunately, that's kind of what happens when you get so many racers and you can definitely get mixed up easily if you're not a collector or a fan, which is pretty much what Mattel is. They really kind of overlook a lot of things, unfortunately, but it's nice to get this guy. I like the artwork a lot and he actually doesn't look too bad coming from Thailand. So Nick stickers here, we did get the metallic version a month or so ago, actually like a month and a half ago now. So now it's time for the regular version, a little backwards there, but no big deal. This is his first release from Thailand. He looks all right. It'll be interesting to do a comparison between this version and the metallic version. Lots of Radiator spring scars in this case. All right, let's move on. Oh, here we go. Here's a new car, Kevin Riven. So this is one of the Thunder Hollow cars that'll go along with Mo Revlin and Mother Turner like I had out over there. He's a Range Rover, I think so, right? Or is it a Land Rover? No, they call it a Range Rover. Nice, I got it right. Oh, I could just look there actually. So he looks awesome. It's one of our, not our first Range Rover, but our first in a very long time. It'll be fun to do the review on him because we have a lot of cars to compare him to. So hopefully you guys will vote for me to review him second or third. I wouldn't mind reviewing him third because this guy is pretty awesome as well. Vanden Kerr. So this is our final Cotter Pin release besides the Super Chase Emily engine that'll be coming out soon. But yeah, this guy's pretty sweet. You can see a bunch of other cars that we've already gotten released on the back of the package. I do have prototypes, I believe, for both of these. I know I have a prototype for Kevin. So another cool aspect of that review. It's funny how they're both literally like the same greenish color. Interesting. All right, getting down to the last two here. Who we got? Oh, awesome. Two good cars for sure. Maddie McGear. So she was only released last year in the 2018 packaging style. Of course, we did get her the year before under the just Cars 3 packaging. But her release last year was very, very rare. It was not distributed in many places. And then this is our first release of her from Thailand. But to be honest, she really doesn't look that different at all. Of course, we got a bunch of other Florida 500 cars there on the back. And last but not least is Carl Clutchen, the infamous racer that only got released in Europe until just recently in case J, which was the last case. And now this case again, where he gets a reissue. So it's great. I'm glad that they are pumping this guy out after having a deficiency in him, you know, by only releasing him in the UK or Europe in general, he was found in France and Greece, I believe. So awesome, some great cars in this case, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Case unboxings are my favorite videos to do just because, I don't know, it's always like a little mystery. Like I had no idea those two cars were in this case. Like not a clue. I just knew like these new ones were there, which Oh man, I'm so excited about Brin. So I will see you guys soon, hopefully maybe even tomorrow for my review of Brin. And then on that video, I'll put a poll asking who you want me to review next. And it'll be one of these three. And yeah, let me know your favorite from the case in the comments below. And if you were wondering about the two cars from the last case that I still haven't reviewed, Jen Tan Sedan and Jenny Tolan, don't worry, I'll review those soon. I will probably just, you know, integrate them into the video schedule along with these and it'll be a nice little mix. But yeah, there were so many from that last case, I didn't have time to review them all before this case. And that just goes to show how fast Mattel is pumping out these cars, which is really a good thing. I mean, I never thought we'd be getting like a new case per month. That's like how it was 
back in 2009. So Mattel is going strong. I'm happy with most of their decisions, minus the Precision Series. That's a little shaky right now, but everything else, it's been a lot of fun in the Cars line. I hope you guys have been sharing that excitement and passion as well through my videos and through your experiences in the stores. Hopefully you guys are able to find stuff. I'm trying to find some more stuff and I'm actually having some luck. Fortunately, you know, actually I'm doing pretty well finding cars right now. I found the Mini Racer Sterling three pack. I found some XRS cars. So it's been awesome. And I will see you guys hopefully soon for another review. I'll stop rambling now and let you guys go about your day and I will hope you enjoy it. See you guys soon. Bye now.